Back in 2017, Marlene King introduced fans of the Pretty Little Liars show to a spin-off series called The Perfectionist. Welcome to Beacon Heights University, where excellence is not an option, it's a requirement. This sent fans of the show and the books into a frenzy with everybody asking a ton of questions. Will any of the cast be returning? Will we get another story revolving around the infamous A? What can we expect from the plot? And will Ariana Grande actually be making an appearance? For all the answers to those questions and more, be sure to keep on watching. Hey guys, it's your host Nora, and welcome back to The Things. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on those post notifications. Let's start off today's video with a shout out to our Awesome Things member, Fizzy Pop. I definitely spotted you as the first commenter on our Zoe Valentine video, and The Things loves you too. The last episode of Pretty Little Liars aired almost two years ago back in 2017, so it's definitely been a while since we've seen some of our favorite actresses. Not to worry though, because Mona and Ali will be back on our screens with the spin-off The Perfectionist set to air in June of 2019. Did you miss me? Carrie Burke, the EVP of the production company, has said that she cannot wait to continue Marlene King's rich and revolutionary way of storytelling with a new crop of leading ladies who will hold just as many lies as Rosewood did. Marlene King has also said that she cannot wait to introduce fans to a new world of thrills and chills in Beacon Heights. King was heavily involved in the writing process of the upcoming show's pilot and will even be producing it alongside some of our favorite producers who brought us some binge-worthy television series like The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and even The 100. The series will include 10 episodes for the first season and here's what the plot tells us so far. Everything about the town of Beacon Heights seems perfect, from their overachieving residents to their top tier college. But nothing in Beacon Heights is as it appears to be. All the stress of being perfect leads to the town's first murder. Behind every perfectionist is a secret, a lie, and a needed alibi. I've been in your shoes. What are you gonna do? Nothing I haven't done before. King also gives us a ton of hints about the plot, since just like the original Pretty Little Liars, we can't really depend on the books for too much solid information. She mentions that The Perfectionist will be pretty similar to The Pretty Little Liars, since there is a big mystery, a murder, and a fracture group of people who become friends through murder. One of the more interesting details that she gives us is that the show will introduce four new characters with one plot twist. One of them will not even be making it to the end of the show's pilot. You should know a student was murdered. Everybody at PHU is a suspect. We also won't need to go through seven seasons to understand Allison and Mona's roles in the show, since this will all apparently make sense after the first episode. As for the perfectionists, the first of them will be played by Sophia Carson, who you guys might recognize from the Descendants movies. She will be playing Ava Jalali, a trend-setting blogger and coder who strives to be a fashion icon. The second perfectionist is Caitlin, who will be played by Sydney Park. Caitlin is a smart and driven perfect daughter of two perfect mothers. She aspires to follow in her mother's political footsteps and even start a political career of her own. The third character to enter this Stepford Wives themed nightmare is Dylan, who will be played by Eli Brown. His character is described as a gifted cellist who is very competitive and reward driven. His passion for music is only second to his passion for his boyfriend. Save it for somebody who believes the words you say. You're hot when you're angry. Other characters include Mason, who will be an athletic type college student who attends Beacon Heights University. I don't want to use this, but I will if I have to. Aside from a few other interesting characters, we can probably expect the show to revolve around college students instead of high schoolers, since it was mentioned that there is a top tier college in Beacon Heights. This would be pretty perfect for Allison's character, since the transition from a high school teacher in the book to a college professor in the show would be a pretty smooth one. As for Mona, we did see her make a big move to Paris at the season finale of Pretty Little Liars. This tells me that there is something awfully special about Beacon Heights that lures her away from her new life of berets and creepy dolls. Bring it on. Mona, where were you when he was killed? What kind of person do you think I am? Well... All this talk of Beacon Heights makes me pretty curious as to where it is, like geographically. This piece of info is pretty important since it's going to have huge implications for Allison's relationships. In the season finale of Pretty Little Liars, not only did we see Allison and Emily in a loving relationship, but they also decided to raise Allison's twins together back in Rosewood. I want to do this. Together. And now for our final scoop of the video. Will Ariana Grande really be making an appearance? This rumor was spotted on Instagram, but for now, it's still just a rumor. I'm Rao Snore, and for more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to The Things, give this video a big thumbs up, and hit me up on Instagram. See you guys next time.